This is too obvious to ignore. It is right in front of our faces and yet we still refuse to see it. I guarantee you that by 2012 there will be a World War III, but it will not be between nations. It will be us and them. They know this. Why do you think the UN is consistently trying to disarm the public and the nations? They don't want us to be capable of fighting back. The proof of this is in the film released by the UN called Arm to the Teeth, where it demonizes gun ownership. It is also shown in the freedom from war policy put in place by JFK in 1961. President John Kennedy went to the United Nations, September 1961, and he presented the United States Program for General and Complete Disarmament in a Peaceful World uh, during a speech, and he said, this is the official program of the United States of America. It's a disarmament program. It calls for the United States to turn over its military to the United Nations. Uh, let that sit for a second. It calls for the United States to turn over its military to the United Nations. The program ends by saying progressive control disarmament would proceed to a point where no state would have the military power to challenge the progressively strengthened UN Peace Force. The UN would have all military power. This policy outlines some pretty scary scenarios when you understand what it reads. It calls for the disbanding of all national armed forces and the prohibition of their reestablishment in any form whatsoever other than those required to preserve internal order and for contributions to a United Nations Peace Force. This clearly shows that the UN is calling for all military power to be under their control. Inspection and verification must establish both that nations carry out scheduled limitation or reductions and that they do not retain armed forces and armaments in excess of those permitted at any stage of the disarmament process. Strategic delivery vehicles will be reduced. Arms and armed forces will be reduced. And all the while, UN peacekeeping powers would be strengthened. A UN Peace Observation Group would be available to investigate any situation which might constitute a threat to or a breach of the peace. Establishing of a permanent international peace force within the United Nations, and depending on the findings of an experts commission, a halt in the production of chemical, bacteriological and radiological weapons, and a reduction of the existing stocks or their conversion to peaceful uses. Peaceful uses of biological, chemical, and radiological weapons? Do you see how they are perverting the word peace and making this policy sound unilaterally good? There is no other way to read this publication. It clearly states that all nations will hand over their military forces to a global United Nations military.